Hey fellow photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael Selbel and I want to talk to you about choosing the right light modifier. I feel guilty yeah, because in the past with my videos, I feel like I biased a lot of my viewers towards using shoot through umbrellas only to use them all the time for everything. Now today, I would like to make a case when to not use shoot through umbrellas. I would like to make a case for a softbox, but I don't want to do that without warning you about certain aspects of such a softbox. The example today is a workshop which we did on the photo tv challenge that was an event on a motocross racing track and that was really great we did a workshop the whole day uh, with roughly 100 students it was loud it was dirty and we all had a blast yeah? however we had all kinds of weather conditions throughout the day sometimes it was really sunny then sometimes it was really windy and then again it was raining and we all got wet yeah, including our gear for the main light, we wanted to use a flash because this way I could exactly control how much light we use. Yeah, that makes the outcome of the photos very predictable. And such a flash also helps freezing the movement of the model. Yeah, so it adds to the sharpness of the photo. And that is good because um, you know we didn't work with professional models who are trained to hold still all the time when, when a student is shooting. Uh, we worked with the motocross racers who were racing over there. Yeah, they came and modeled for us. So. Um, a flash was exactly what we needed for such a workshop now where everything needs to be quick and bulletproof a shoot through umbrella would have given us awesome light no doubt about that yeah the light of such an umbrella is great but over the course of the day we would probably have trashed a dozen or so umbrellas it was windy and no matter how sturdy your umbrella is sooner or later it will collapse in the wind so instead we went for a softbox as our light modifier of choice for the whole day, for all the photos. We had cousin Jan Marco Gessinger over there, professional photographer, and that was really good because he was able to help us with lighting. Yeah? Because with such a soft box, you need to be a little bit more thoughtful. You need to be a little bit more exact with your lighting. Yeah, um, look at it like this. An umbrella is built in a way that it's spreading light everywhere yeah so you can point an umbrella just somehow at the let's say at the upper body of your model and then everything will be lit from her face down to her feet and it will be relatively even a softbox on the other hand is much more concentrated yeah, it got hard or let's say harder edges so if you uh, point a softbox simply at the upper body of your model then probably the face her face is not lit very well anymore and probably her feet are pitch black yeah, so you need to be a little bit more thoughtful. If you want to light your whole model, her whole body, then probably you feather the light down her body. Then you bring the softbox a bit above your model, or let's say just a bit higher than your model is, and then you tilt it down so that the light of the softbox is literally running down her body. That is working. Uh, so let me reiterate, an umbrella is great because it's easy to get even light, but it's breaking very easily, especially outdoors. A softbox on the other hand is much more sturdy. It uh, works fine outdoors, even in wind and rain, and it gives you more control over the light. But because of that control, you need to get a bit smarter. You need to be a bit more thoughtful. Yeah. The softbox that we used was the Fortix Easy Up 60 by 90 softbox. And that is great because it folds together really small and it's very lightweight, yeah, but it's still really, really sturdy. Its build quality is great. So outdoor on a motocross track, that is exactly what I need. <laughs> and it also gives uh, me awesome light. And, um, and the setup just takes like oh, probably 10, 20 seconds. So it's not like in the old days anymore when uh, I wanted to have a big softbox and it was heavy or bulky or it needed a complicated setup and stuff. Yeah, no, all of that is gone today. Um, an umbrella and a softbox, it's pretty alike. <laughs> so no big difference. So in the end, everybody was uh, very happy. Our students were happy because they got a lot of good results. The models were happy because they got a ton of killer photos. Cousin Jan, Marco and myself, we were happy because we could teach a little bit more advanced lighting and even my bank account was really happy because instead of trashing a dozen umbrellas now we broke absolutely nothing that day really nothing so there you have it so if you go out into the open next time consider using a softbox and if you do so then um, make sure that the light of your softbox reaches every spot of your model that is supposed to be lit yeah keep an eye on that and for that i wish you good light